all right so let's look at the relationship between the sum of the first n terms and the sum of the first n terms minus one then the nth term okay all right so we know that sum of the first n term the same as sum of this okay u1 u2 okay the sum of n terms so u1 u2 u3 up to infinity so plus up to un okay so n here it means that sum of the first term that is x1 is the same as u1 as simple as that so sum of the first two terms we brought so u1 plus u2 okay but u1 okay is the same as what x1 is here so i can say x2 is the same as so in place of u1 we can put x1 there okay so let's find u2 from here so my u2 is x2 minus x1 okay so let's note this one down okay so let's look at some of the first three terms that will be u1 plus u2 plus u3 okay but u1 plus u2 is what is here u1 plus u is s2 so x3 x2 plus u3 so what is u3 my u3 will be x3 make it the subject and also x2 all right so let's observe one and two okay so u2 is equal to x2 minus x1 so u3 is the same as what x3 minus x so we can write u7 as what okay x7 minus what x6 so what is un okay so my u n will be what? So x n minus x n minus one. So that is the relationship between u n x n and then x n minus one. All right. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos. All right.